Hey everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Jan Sauderduin. I'm the founder of LearnSolidworks.com. And today in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to model this beautiful lemon squeezer in SolidWorks. This piece of art is designed by Roland Kreider for Alessi. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you many interesting features in SolidWorks. So you can download the SolidWorks file and a workbook for this lesson by clicking on the link in the description under this video. So do that first. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new part. So go to File, click on New, and select a new part. Click OK. All right, guys. Now we're going to make sure that our planes are visible. So go to the Feature tree, click and hold down the Control key to select the three planes, and click on the eye icon to make the planes visible. Just like that. All right, we're going to make sure that our uh, document units are on millimeters. So in the lower right corner, you can change the document units into millimeters. So make sure it's millimeters. All right, now we're going to make a new sketch on the front plane. So select the front plane and click on the 2D sketch icon. Just like that. Now we're going to the line command and click on the small arrow next to the line command. We're going to make sure that we select the midpoint line. So click on midpoint line. Now we're going to make the starting point on the origin. And we will make sure it will be a vertical line, just like this. If you hit the escape button, you can close the line command. All right. Now we're going to make our planes invisible because we can't see our line. So you can go to view, hide show, and click on planes to hide the planes. All right, now we can clearly see our vertical line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a dimension to this line. So go to Smart Dimensions and give this line a length of 130 millimeters, just like that. All right, click OK. Now we're going to add a three-point arc. So click on the three-point arc icon you can find the three-point arc in this drop-down menu. So click on three-point arc. The first point will be our the lower end point of our vertical line. The second point will be the upper point of our vertical line. And the third point will be somewhere around here. So click there. Click on escape to end the three-point arc command. All right, guys, so now we're going to add a smart dimension to this three-point arc. So go to the line command again, click on the small drop-down menu, and select center line. We're going to draw a center line starting from the origin up till the three-point arc right here. Press escape to end the center line command and go to smart dimensions. And we will add a smart dimension of 30 millimeters right here. 30 millimeters, just like that. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to revolve this shape. So go to Features and click on Revolved Boss Base. The axis of revolution will be our vertical line. So click on the axis of revolution box and select this vertical line and click OK. All right, guys, now we are first going to make sure that to save our file to our working folder. So click on the save icon and let's call this part lemon squeezer. Click save to save the file. All right, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a fillet right here and also a fillet on the lower side. And because this is a one single point, we can't apply a regular fillet. So we're going to make a cut revolve in order to make a fillet on this point. So we're going to zoom out a bit, click on the front plane, and click on the 2D sketch icon. Just like that. All right, so now we're going to convert this edge. So select the edge of our geometry, the blue edge, as you can see right here, and click on Convert Entities. All right. Now we're going to draw a small vertical line right here. Just like that. Click escape to close the line command. Now we're going to add a three point arc right here. So go to the three point arc command again. 
select this point select this point and select the point somewhere right here click escape to close this command and now we're going to make sure that our center of the three-point arc is on a vertical line so click on the center point hold down the control key and select the vertical line and now we're going to make sure it's coincident just like that all right now we're going to apply a smart dimension to this three-point arc so go to smart dimensions again select this three-point arc and change the size into three millimeters just like that we're going to zoom in a little bit and press escape all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a tendency from this line to this line because the three-point arc is not fully intersecting with a model so select the three-point arc hold down the control key and select this edge right here release the control button and click on make tangent just like that all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim this part of the line because we don't need it anymore so therefore we're going to trim entities click on trim entities in the top menu make sure that power trim is selected and now we're going to click and drag our mouse over the part of the line we want to remove so in this case we want to remove this section of the line so click and drag your cursor over this line just like that all right now click ok now we're going to make a cut revolve from this so go to features click on revolve cut and our axis of revolution will be the vertical line so click the vertical line and click ok all right so now we've created a fillet the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mirror this fillet so zoom out a little bit and for this we're going to make our planes visible again so go to view hide show and click on planes so here are our planes again now we're going to the mirror feature so click on mirror right here you can also go to insert pattern slash mirror and click on mirror the mirror plane will be our top plane so select the top plane and the features to mirror will be our cut revolve so we can select the cut revolve right here or we can also select our cut revolve in the feature tree so select the cut revolve just like that and click ok all right guys so now we've mirrored our fillet to the other side as well we're going to save our work again all right guys so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a cut sweep on this surface so the first cut sweep we're going to create right now so click on the top lane make a new sketch so click on the 2d sketch icon all right so we're going to convert this outer edge so select the outer edge of our geometry it will be blue blue highlighted when you have selected and click on convert entities all right so now we're going to make uh, two center lines on this face but first we were going to make sure that our planes are invisible again because we don't need them right now so go to view click on hide show and hide our planes just like that and now we're going to create two center lines so click on the small drop down menu next to the line command click on center line and draw one horizontal center line from the origin up till here press escape press enter to create a new center line and we're going to start this line on the origin as well up till around here and press escape now we're going to apply a smart dimension so go to smart dimensions and change the angle between those two lines into 15 degrees 15 degrees just like that all right now we're going to draw another line so click on escape to close the smart dimension step go to the line command and draw a line from here from this endpoint until here press escape again now we're going to add another smart dimension so go to smart dimensions click on this line 
click on this horizontal line and let's change the angle into four into 50 degrees just like that all right guys so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim this part of the line because we only want to want to keep this part of the line so this part we're going to trim so go to trim entities uh, select the power trim again and click and drag your cursor over this part of the line just like that and click ok all right guys so now we're going to mirror those two lines so go to mirror entities click here and select those two lines as entities to mirror now click on the mirror about box and select this horizontal line right here just like that and click ok all right so you will notice that our shape becomes darker so this means that this is a closed uh, shape all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a fillet right here so go to the sketch fillet command right here and we're going to select this point all right now we're going to change the fillet size into two millimeters click ok all right guys now we're going to close this sketch and this sketch will be our sweep profile because we're going to make a cut sweep right here and this will be our sweep profile so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a sweep pad which we can use to sweep our profile so click on the front plane and make a new sketch we're going to draw another uh, midpoint line right here so click on the drop down menu next to a line click on midpoint line and we will start a line on the origin again and we draw it up to here click escape and the length of this line will be 130 millimeters so 130 millimeters just like that now we're going to create another three point arc again so click on the three point arc command we will start the arc right here up till this point right here somewhere around here press escape now we're going to apply a smart dimension so click on smart dimensions and we will change the radius size into 105 millimeters just like that now we're going to turn this vertical line into a center line so click on this line and make sure it's for construction and click ok all right guys so this will be our pot for a cut sweep so close the sketch the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the cut sweep so here you can see our cut profile and this line will be our sweep pot so go to insert cut and click on sweep so our cut sweep profile will be this sketch and our cut sweep pot will be this line now you can see that only the upper side of the uh, line is selected but if you click on this icon right here the bi-directional it will go in both directions so click ok all right so now we've created our first cut sweep the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make an axis in the center of our model so therefore we're going to make sure that our planes are visible again so go to view hide show and click on planes and now we're going to add an axis in the middle so go to insert reference geometry and click on axis all right so we're going to select this right plane and this front plane and here in the middle you can see a yellow axis so click ok and we're going to use this axis for a circular pattern of our cut sweep so go to insert pattern mirror and click on circular pattern all right so the direction of our pattern will be our axis and now click on the features and faces tab click on the feature right here and select our cut sweep just like that now we're going to change the number of instances into 12. click ok all right guys so this is already starting to look like our desired shape but i forgot to make this um, model hollow 
So we want to make sure it's hollow. So I'm going to back in the feature tree. We're going to drag the slider up, up to here. And if we make a section view right now, you can see that our model is solid and I want to make sure it's hollow. So now we're going to add a shell. So go to insert features shell and we make sure that the shell thickness will be four and a half millimeters just like that click ok all right so now our shape is hollow now we can drag the feature slider back to the end again and now our model is fully hollow so we're going to, uh, to end the section view all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this um, the shape is twisted because if you take a closer look at this picture you can see that our shape is flexed it's a little bit twisted so we're going to apply this twist to our model as well but before we do that i first want to add a fillet to this edge so go to the fillet command select this edge and now we're going to make sure that we click on the connected edges icon right here and this will instantly select all our edges right here. We're going to make sure that the radius is set to one millimeter and we click OK. All right, so now we have applied fillets to, to all our outer edges. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this shape is twisted. And therefore, we're going to use the flex feature. So go to insert, features, and click on flex. You can find it right here. Now we first come to define our flex body. So click on our body. Now we're going to choose our flex type. We can make sure it's set to twisting. So click on twisting. We're going to apply a twist value of 60 degrees. So set this to 60 degrees. And now we're going to change our triad values. In this box and we'll make sure that the X is set to 90 degrees our Y is set to 0 degrees and our C is also set to 0 degrees so now we're only twisting around the X axis and click OK this can take a while all right guys now we're going to hide our planes and axis we'll go to the view tab Click on hide show and click on hide all types. All right, now we're going to set our model to shaded. So click on the display style box and click on shaded. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. Now, if you want to become a SolidWorks Pro by modeling this Austin Model 177, this American Chopper, this Sunseeker Predator Super Yacht, and is Boeing 747-8, I highly recommend to attend my free SolidWorks workshop. And you can find a link with more information about the workshop under this video. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and visit learnsolidworks.com for many more SolidWorks product modeling videos. All right guys, I'm going to sign off now, but I hope to talk to you soon. Bye bye.